The Eleftheria Pancibrian Youth Soccer Club held their pre-Christmas party last week with their families and friends during a very festive event in Astoria, which also included presentation of awards for the u eights that's for children under eight years old, and scholarships for college students of the club. The event was attended and greeted by the Consul General of Cyprus, Ambassador Filipos Filippou, the President of the Cyprus Federation of America, Costas Tsendas, and Council Member Costa Costadinidis, who also presented uh, citations uh, to the nine scholarship recipients. Established in 1981, the main mission of the Eleftheria Pancibrian Soccer Club is to provide children the opportunity to play a beautiful sport, to develop good players, to teach discipline, teamwork and sportsmanship on and off the field, and also to promote academic excellence. To learn more about the club, we spoke to some of its members, including its president, Mr. Nikos Jazas. Mr. Jazas, a beautiful uh, Christmas gathering here for the Eleftheria Pancyprian soccer team. A lot of families, a lot of children. It's a joyous evening. How does it feel? It feels great. It's a uh, it's really beautiful night. It's, um, it's one of the very few times we get all the teams together because we have 10 teams, ages from 4 to 12, I mean to 19 years old. It's 10 teams all together. So every weekend, all these teams, they hit to a different directions. They go to different soccer fields. They play with the different teams. Even now on winter, winter time, we rent three different into facilities, the PS122, PS2, and we have the School of Death in Jackson Heights. So tonight, they give us the opportunity to celebrate all together for this beautiful Christmas party. Did you have any uh, wins uh, this year? We have plenty of wins, and, uh, and obviously you will see in a bit, you know, we have to honor the... Um, uh, the U8, uh, they went to a beautiful tournament. Uh, they compete with very tough um, leagues out there, and they did very, very well. How many uh, children uh, participate in this uh, soccer team? How many families over, are members? Over 200 kids. Wow. Over 200 kids. And uh, all of them, uh, they belong to an organized league. It's a traveling... When I say organized league, means it's not just a developmental program. It is, um, uh, they participate with different other clubs all over in the New York State. And what are the challenges of uh, getting together all these children and uh, keeping them engaged? Because what you're doing is very unique because you're keeping them engaged. Um, they have uh, fun and they get together with other kids. It's a huge challenge, but we get a lot of, a lot of support from the parents. All the parents, they love the sport. They love the program because we give the opportunity to all these youngsters to come in and, and play this beautiful sport. Through this sport, they learn sportsmanship, teamwork, and also we do promote academic excellence. So instead of having all these kids out there you know, running around, they get the opportunity, they come in, and then they play that beautiful sport, and we teach all these other values with them too. And also discipline, right? Absolutely. It's one of, I forgot about it, you know. But soccer, you know, it requires, you know, a lot of discipline. And you know, uh, soccer is very popular now in the United States, isn't it? Yes, yes. And we work really, really hard. I remember back in 1981, uh, when Mike Leandro starts the program, we have only one team. And back then, all these uh, Greek community clubs with Greek Americans, uh, Pan Cyprians, Dogs, all these other clubs, they used to count on the foreign players. They used to bring players from overseas. From overseas. They pay so much money. But in our, within our club, we, strong, we are strong believers of our kids. We work very, very hard. And then we develop this, these players. And right now, they are there on the men's team. They are working very hard. They compete and they achieve a lot. Tell us a little bit about the, the kids who are being honored this evening. Okay. The Eleftheria Scholarship, like I said earlier, we promote academic excellence. So kids, when they start on the young age with, with, the, with our club, and they stay within the club for more than eight years, five to eight years, and they graduate and they get into uh, colleges, we honor them with a nice scholarship. Wow. 
So that's another big challenge of raising funds all the time. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the last, I should say, the last 10, 15 years, we gave out over 50 scholarships with uh, probably you're looking at uh, close to $30,000. Now, for parents who are watching this uh, program in uh, Greek Americans and Cypriot Americans, uh, how would they get in touch with you if they would like to enroll their kids? They can always um, call me at 718-267-2000 or they can go to our website. It's eleftheriapancypriansyouth.com. Uh, Mr. Neofitu, uh, welcome to Actina TV. Your daughter was uh, one of our most dedicated uh, volunteers uh, for Actina FM. I really miss her. I w would like to wish you and yours a very happy holiday season, a happy new year. Uh, but uh, right now, we are at this beautiful event uh, hosted by the uh, Lefteria Pan Cyprian uh, soccer team, and you're the coordinator of the team. How does it feel? It feels excellent. When you see the, the, the house full of people and uh, you see the house full of uh, little kids that they running around and they waiting for Santa and they enjoying the moment, this is, uh, this is what we do. This is, this is what we do every day, seven days a week, all year round. We never stop and as a, for the kids. And as a coordinator, what are your uh, duties in general? Uh, I never stop, 24-7. Uh, it, we always work for, for the club and uh, it, we volunteer our time for the community, for the kids and uh, from registrations to preparations for the, for the teams, uh, finding coaches, finding fields, finding schools, finding uh, places to run these events. It's, we go around, we knock all the doors to get sponsoring money. To, to cover all of these expenses. And we, we charge the minimum for the kids. We do it everything, everything for the kids. Well, congratulations. And again, uh, I would like you now to share your message for the new year with all Actina TV listeners. Uh, we wish the entire world a happy new year, Merry Christmas, and especially for Cyprus to see one free Cyprus like the old times. We, we all want to go back to Gerinia. Panayoti, um, what can you tell us about uh, yourself and what uh, is your involvement with Eleftheria Pan Cyprian? Um, well, I've just come recently from um, Cyprus from in February um, and I started playing for the men's team for Pan Gibrio, where I met Billy and uh, we got to discussing and I, I was looking forward to going to coaching and he's given me an opportunity now which I have the U14s and it's uh, very good, it's a joy. I, I love the team, I love the setup from, from the president, Nigos Jazas, all the way down. I think everyone is great and it's just very well organized and it's just great. Yeah. How many kids uh, do you coach? Roughly, I have about 18 kids. Wow, that's, that's a challenge. It's a challenge, but I got, them, I got them from the beginning and told them a few things and it's good. They, they listen to me, so I have no worries. I, do you think they're good players? All of them. Mm. We're a great team. Vasily, what is your role in the uh, organization? Uh, I'm currently the director of coaches, which uh, my responsibilities include um, just making sure every team has a, has a capable coach. Um, right now, all the coaches that we do have are all licensed coaches, and um, so they're getting the top knowledge that they can possibly get um, as far as soccer. Yep. Do you have any conflicts, any issues that you need to tackle all the time? Um, being a community club with 90% uh, Greek. Uh, we try to keep it within the community. There's always conflicts, just like any family has, you know, but we take care of it. Um, between ourselves, the coaches, and the committee, uh, we make the best choices uh, to eventually help the players both on the field and off the field. Now, where do you see the team in the near future, being the coach? My team? Doing the best we can. I mean, we've had a great start to the season. Um, it's all been positive. I have no regrets with my team. I have nothing. We Every game we look at it step by step and we go for the win. So I see a very bright future, at least for my team, because I see them more than I see other teams. But I've seen a few of the other teams too, like specifically the eight, I believe it is. There's some, they're very good. And I think it is credit also to the players, but to the coaches and especially to to Billy that picked certain coaches to put them in charge, you know. So there is definitely some order and some organization. So, how about you, Vasily? Looking ahead in 2015, 
Um, well, what we do is, again, we try to build the program from the, from the grassroots level, so from the six-year-old, and we build all the way to the men's team. So I know last year we promoted maybe 15 kids to our reserve team, our men's reserve team. Um, some of them we are honoring tonight with scholarships, college scholarships. So that's the goal, just to, to move them forward, to keep them out of the streets, out of, away from the drugs and alcohol and the bad influences out there, keep them on the right path, educate them, and good citizens. Reactions about the successful event, which drew a full house of guests, uh, were shared with us uh, by the dignitaries in attendance, who also conveyed uh, their special greeting messages for this holiday season. Κύριε Γενικέ, χρόνια πολλά, ό,τι καλύτερο για σας και την οικογένειά σας για τη νέα χρονιά. Μια πολύ όμορφη εκδήλωση απόψε, έτσι. Είναι μια ωραία εκδήλωση, η οποία αποτυπώνει την επιτυχία του, του Σωματείου Ελευθερία, τα οποία ε, διαφυλάττουν την ιστορία, τον πολιτισμό και την παράδοση της Κύπρου μέσω του αθλητισμού. Είναι ωραίο να διαπιστώνει κανένα ότι οι γονεί προστανατολίζουν τα παιδιά τους προς τον αθλητισμό και ιδιαίτερα α, μέσω του αθλητισμού γνωρίζουν την ιστορία α, και την παράδοση της Κύπρου. Τα παιδιά αυτά βρίσκονταν πέρσι στην Κύπρο α, σε ένα ταξίδι α, α, γνωριμίας α, με την Μεγαλόνησο, την ιδιαίτερη πατρίδα τους και αυτό αποτελεί μια επιτυχία διότι είναι οι αυριανοί α, ομογενείς οι οποίοι θα παραλάβουν τη δάδα από τους σημερινούς φίλους ομογενείς, οι οποίοι έχουν, θα τους δώσουν όλα τα ανάματα, όλες τις παρακατεθήκες που χρειάζονται για να συνεχίσουν. Αντιλαμβάνεστε ότι τα παιδιά αυτά, ε, αντί να βρίσκονται ε, σε ένα, στο σπίτι τους ή ε, σε ένα άλλο χώρο, βρίσκονται εδώ και έτσι αναλώνονται, βιώνοντας ε, την ιστορία, τον πολιτισμό της Κύπρου και με τη μεταφέρουν και ε, απαλλασσόμαστε ή τουλάχιστον μειώνουμε σε μεγάλο ποσοστό τα κύματα αφομοίωσης. Όπως είναι πολύ δύσκολο κανένας να κρατηθεί Έλληνας της Κύπρου ή, ή Έλληνας της Ελλάδος σε αυτόν τον χώρο, αφού διαπιστώνει κανένας ότι βαλόμαστε συνέχεια από ε, ξένες δυνάμεις, από ξένα μηνύματα και ο, η προσπάθεια που γίνεται από τον Νίκον Τιάζα αξίζει χαιρετισμού, τιμής και εκτιμήσεις. Ε, κύριε Γενικέ, είστε γνωστός στον χώρο της ομογένειας, διατηλέσσετε και πρόξενος στο παρελθόν, ε, τώρα έχετε επιστρέψει ως γενικός πρόξενος, διατηλέσσετε και ως πρέσβης, ε, μας θυμάται ιδιαίτερα που ε, είσαστε, έχετε επανέλθει στο χώρο μας και είστε και ένας πολύ δραστήριος άνθρωπος, με πολλές εκδηλώσεις στο Γενικό Προξενείο. Ε, Όμω να σταθούμε λίγο, ήταν και εδώ πρόσφατα ο, ο πρόεδρο τη Κύπρου για την χείριση ανοιχτή καρδιά. Επιστρέψατε στην Κύπρο σήμερα. Ε, ποια είναι τα challenges σα όσον αφορά το 2015, εκτό φυσικά από το πρόβλημα τη Κύπρου που είναι ένα Πιστεύω θέμα. Πιστεύω ότι το γενικό προξενείο είναι η γέφυρα με την πατρίδα ε, μέσω των ε, ε, κυπριακών οργανώσεων και αυτό κάναμε, αυτό συνεχίζουμε να κάνουμε αλλά επικεντρωνόμαστε στην πολιτιστική διπλωματία, ο οποίος είναι ένας σημαντικός άξονας της εξωτερικής πολιτικής της Κύπρου, αφού διαθέτουμε και πολιτισμό και ιστορία και παράδοση, την οποία μπορούμε να αξιοποιήσουμε. Το Κυπριακό είναι βέβαια πάντα μέσα στις προτεραιότητές μας, αλλά η διάσταση πολιτιστική έχει μεγάλη σημασία, γι' αυτό και επικεντρωνόμαστε σε αυτό. Mr. Sanders, happy holidays. Uh, nice gathering today. Uh, one of your uh, chapter members, uh, Eleftheria Pan Cyprian, are hosting their uh, Christmas party. How does it feel? It feels uh, very good. It, it's a, 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 an exceptional uh, event. It, it's uh, so nice to see so many uh, young kids, uh, children, that uh, participate in, in, participate in the uh, youth uh, soccer teams. And, and, and these are the... Uh, uh, the, the future of our community, the, 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 ambassadors, the, the ambassadors, correct, that uh, hopefully through, the, through soccer and through all the events that they uh, go to, they will uh, learn about Cyprus and Greece and uh, they'll perpetuate our uh, customs, uh, not, not only uh, uh, the athletic events, but also our cultural heritage. And of course the Cyprus Federation also has its own youth co committee, the SAICA, and they're having their... Uh, 
uh, annual trip to the Poconos in uh, February. Uh, you, the Cyprus Federation in general uh, embraces so many representative uh, culture organizations. A big job, isn't it? It's a big job, but it's a fun job. Obviously, we, uh, uh, we are trying to, as I said, preserve our heritage. And it, it's very rewarding to see uh, all these people who are working very hard to do that. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, you are one of the uh, uh, one of our uh, Cyprus is one of our chapters uh, with the, all its uh, cultural events. And uh, Actina FM and Actina TV, obviously, uh, we are very proud of you and the work that you're doing for Cyprus and Greece. And uh, we'll be uh, by your side, uh, when, uh, whatever you need, and, and uh, we'll work together to uh, keep our uh, culture alive. Well, the Cyprus Federation had a very successful year as far as its chapters, as far as the successful events that the Federation hosted. Looking ahead in 2015, uh, what are the challenges? Well, uh, the challenges, as you know, still remain the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fact, yeah, the fact that uh, uh, a large part of our uh, uh, island, our motherland, is still under uh, Turkish occupation after uh, 40 years. Uh, you come from the occupied area, so do I. Uh, and uh, after all these years, we haven't seen a, uh, uh, a resolution. Uh, we are still hopeful. We'll, we'll continue the, uh, the fight. But uh, in addition to that, uh, we have another challenge, and, and the challenge is to preser preserve our uh, culture in the United States. Uh, as, uh, as we uh, grow older, then we have to pass the, the torch along to the, uh, the younger uh, generation, and that's what we're trying to do. Councilmember Kosantinidis, you are among your compatriots this evening during this uh, beautiful um, Christmas uh, uh, party with the Eleftheria Pan-Cyprian. That's such a wonderful event. I mean, it's a nice way to end the year and celebrate, come together as a community and enjoy the holidays, you know, one and all. And, you know, the, the Pan-Cyprian Eleftheria soccer group does such amazing work throughout the year with these kids and now puts a big bow on it at the end with this wonderful holiday party. Uh, dear Costa, um, the holiday season is here. It's supposed to be the holiday season of joy, but unfortunately, uh, we are faced with a horrific uh, tragedy with the loss of the two NYPD officers on duty who were executed, uh, killed. Uh, I've been very upset throughout my throughout the, my show today. I can barely keep uh, my anger. Um, New York City is one of the most beautiful and diverse cities in the world, as I said on the radio today, and it's time for healing. How do you view this horrific uh, event? I just actually came from a Kansanite vigil uh, in support of the officers and their families, and my heart goes out to each of their families. I, you know, to be murdered in such a senseless way is tragic. and. Hearing the story of, of you know one of their sons, as a as a father, to see their son now, their family's trying to make sense of going on without them, and it it it, it, it breaks you up. And there's no there's no other way to say it. I mean, it's it's such a tragic and heart wrenching uh, type of event. It's it's time for our city to heal, and you know tonight we stood with the NYPD, and we're going to continue to do so through this uh, terrible tragic time. Can the City Council play uh, an important role in ed further educating and bringing together the public? It seems that the, the mayor uh, has uh, sparked some fires out there. Well, I think we all can come together. I think that's our, I think that's been the, uh, that's our mandate. Um, we have to bring our neighborhoods together uh, and we are going to do so. This is the greatest city in, in the world. and. Uh, yeah, as you said, one of the more diverse, and we're going to find a way to heal and to, uh, to, to move forward together and, and support the families of the NYPD and, and these two families in their time of need, especially during this holiday season where, as you said, it should have been a, a joyous one, and now it's one that it, 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 it's, it rips out your heart. So I'm, I think it's time we're all going to... Uh, evaluate ourselves and, and evaluate our, uh, our role and how we can be part of that healing process. Now, uh, you had uh, many challenges uh, in 2014 during your first uh, year in office. 2015 is around the corner. What are your challenges ahead? Uh, you know, our, our, you know, looking to the future. And I think part of our, our, our future is looking to our past. Uh, Astoria 
is an amazing, amazing place. And I saw a picture from 120 years ago, and, and, and a lot of it was coming through our waterways. So to 2015, it's, it's how we can improve our, our, our community and also looking how we can better integrate our waterways into our, our neighborhood and, and, and build out those waterways and make them a more integral part of how we move around, how we interact with one another, and, and, and come up with a vision for, that, for, that, for our, our, our exciting waterfront. And finally, I would like you to send your uh, New Year's uh, uh, message and greeting to all Actina TV viewers. Uh, everyone at Actina, first, Elena, thank you for all you do for our communities. Yeah, we're always deeply grateful for your, what you do, and we couldn't do it without you, so thank you. But from my family to yours, everyone wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and I look forward to continuing to serve this community uh, in 2015.